going to have this week and then it should fold this way. So don't need your hair to be And then typically if you're doing head work, you're going to have their earrings, glasses, everything come out of this area. Let me take my hoops off. <laughs> So we're going to start off with the skull. We have four positions for the skull. We'll start with the PA. PA? Yeah, PA okay. skull. Yeah. All right. No, no, you're good. You're good. can be done on the wall bucky with the patient sitting. If the patient comes in on a bed or a stretcher from inpatient, like upstairs, and they're not able to sit or stand, you can have them lay on the table, depending on what you're doing. So for PA skull, we're gonna start off at 40. There is no tooth angle. Patient is going to sit upright in a chair uh, with the back to the side, preferably. And then, not you. Not you. No, no, no. Chair. The chair back. Patient's facing the uh, IR. So his forehead and nose will be touching the IR, just the tip of the nose. If they're not able to touch their forehead, like if they have a very long nose or something, mm -hmm. it's fine. Um, make sure their MSP is lined up. So I'm going to move your head a little to the right. Good. And our centering is going to be exiting the nasion, basically the first part of that mm -hmm. nose. So you can bring your tube down just a tad bit. That looks pretty good right there. Actually, you can go up. Yep, good. So that first part of that bridge of the nose should be good for your nasion. Collimation for skull should be 10 by 12. Okay, so we did that and we noticed that we're clipping the top of the head, right? Mm -hmm. So in this scenario, we can definitely adjust the CR to get the top of that skull. But wouldn't you be off of your centering point? Um, as long as you're getting the entire skull, you can adjust it as necessary mm -hmm. to get just the skull. Does that make sense? Okay. You can start off at the nasion, but if your collimation is clipping the top of the skull, then guess what? You may oh, have cool. to think outside the box. All of these is suspend on respiration. But for test out, you don't have to worry about respiration for me. Um, important thing with the skull, we're gonna take our pen and make sure their OML is perpendicular to our IR. So what's the OML? Um, so the line from the eyes to the ear. So, mm -hmm. so take a pen. So it looks like his eye is a little bit high. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So I have him bring his chin down. Perfect. Mm -hmm. and that's how you measure if it's straight. Um, where's the centering for your skull again? The nasion. Nasion, mm -hmm. yep. Um, if the centering does not work with your collimation, you can adjust as needed. Because we're only interested in the skull. Okay. So we need to have a little bit of light above the top of the skull and then about one inch on both sides. So really, really, whenever you do this one, you just have to make sure that it's like an inch above their head. Mm -hmm. So the nasion really isn't that important. Where is the... Um, it's the nasion. So it's this part right here. Yeah, Literally like, like just, below your eyebrows. Just looking for the crosshair. Mm -hmm. So PA skull, they're facing the bucky. Nose and forehead touching, SIDs at 40, um, CR exiting the nasion. You can adjust as needed for collimation, just make sure there's 
light past their head on uh, both sides laterally mm -hmm. and above the vertex of their skull because you don't want to clip anything. Okay. You can put your left marker here or your right marker here. What about the um, OID from my jaw to the IR? We're doing Just, your skull. So you're not going to see the mandible at all? No, we're not okay. interested in that. You may see it in the image, but we're not interested. Okay. Mm -hmm. So why don't we just call them eight one? Um, like, mm -hmm. just make it like a... Then you might have to move your centering up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. In the real world, you can. Okay. But for test purposes, 10 by 12. Mm -hmm. okay. So that was your PA cranium. Let me see if I missed anything. I told you there would be thing. And what line needs to be perpendicular? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so now we have our PA axial Caldwell. So when you hear axial, what are you thinking? Angle. angle. So there's a two angle, 15 degrees caudal to the nasion. So it, all of the angulations for your head work is caudal. The only time it's cephalic is going to be for your mandible. Mm -hmm. So 15 degrees, yeah. Another one? 15 should be... Uh, 105. No, caudal. Caudal you can't do math would right be now. 85. 85? Yeah, yeah, it's 15. It's 85. Because mm -hmm. 80 would be 20 degrees. Mm -hmm. okay. No, wait, no, 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 no. 75. 75. I'm like, what do you <laughs> For a second, I was thinking 100 Oops. was perpendicular. I'm sorry. It's too early for that. I'm still thinking PRE. Oh. What is all oh, that? It's hot. Oh. I'm just. Sorry. I'm just getting <laughs> old. <laughs> okay, so the centering and position for this is exactly the same as the PA. The only thing that changed was what? Angle. The angle. So put it, your collimation at 10 by 12. So does this need to be lower? Yeah, we're going to move it down. Go ahead and touch your nose with water. If you can touch your forehead, it's fine. But then that would mess your OML up. Tuck it your nose just a little. That's good. And then you can actually raise it up because we're clipping the top. That's good. Come here. Can you see from there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Because I'm not, like, you can see exactly like right here. And can I you don't move your head, but I'm going to move like, it. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Okay. Because that's just showing all the points. Does anyone have their markers? Me. Oh, yeah. Did lifting the bucky adjust my OMLI? Oh, no, yes. So if you already have the patient positioned and you're moving the bucky, just make sure that their OML is still perpendicular because, you know, their chin can move with the bucky. Thinking centered. Exiting the nasion, but we adjusted it to. Accommodate. Collimation is 10 by 12. You can make it smaller if you need to, if your patient has a smaller head. SID is always going to be at 40, and we have a 15 degree caudal angle. What position is this? Uh, the the axial? axial Caldwell. Um, does that matter? No, when we angle down, it changes SID. Okay. And uh, just one more time, if you just show us with the pen, the, um, just oh, the, no. yeah, we're going, yeah, oh, no. So from the eye to the ear, it should be straight. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You can relax, Jake. <laughs> so now, we're going to do a lateral skull. Don't turn all the way. We're going to slightly oblique the patient, and then we're going to turn your head all the way. So your ear is going to be against the Can we do the other way? Uh, we prefer left lateral, so we may need to scoop you a little forward. Okay. Scoot your chair forward. Oh, I think it's up his neck. It's my like, spot right here. Oh, that accident. hurts? Yeah. Okay. We can switch for a moment. Thank you. Put your glasses on. I'm not that one. Okay. Come on. No, I'm just saying. Uh, we're going to slightly oblique. And then you're going to put your left ear against the bucky. Good. Where'd you say they were? So, 
for the lateral, we have several lines that needs to be perpendicular. Um, but first, let me talk about the centering. It's going to be two inches above your EAM. No, no, you're good. So from her EAM, two inches from me is about four fingers. So, can you put it right there? And then I'm going to move your head forward. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to also move the bucky down. So when you move the bucky down, make sure it doesn't hit their shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay. She's pretty. Sorry. Okay. I'm going to come on the other side. Melanie's having a relaxing day. So for the lateral skull, we have to make sure the IPL is perpendicular. And marker is posterior or anterior? Here, anterior. IPL is perpendicular. And then also our IOML should be parallel to the IR. So, so should the IOML is from your bottom of your eyelid to your ear, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she needs to tuck her chin down a little bit. That's about good. Okay. And then if you come on this side and take a look at Emily, it looks like her head is rotated this way to the IR, so I would want to straighten that out. Just slightly. And you can check that with the IML? IML? You can check that out with the IPL. IPL, mm -hmm. okay. The interpretary line. Okay. Um, where was the centering again for this? Two inches above her. Yeah. Yeah. So on a perfect patient, that should be at the level of your nasion. So on her, it is exactly right there. Okay. Collimation is still going to be 10 by 12. It's 10 by 11 right now. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. um, you can go smaller if your patient allows. Okay. Then so so on her, we can definitely go smaller. Oops. No, 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 we're good, we're good. On our box, we're good. So we just need a little bit of light like, above the vertex, you know and then of course we want to include the frontal bone, right? If you're clipping yeah. the neck or anything, that does not affect us, because all we're interested in is the skull. Is skull. And cool. that is your lateral skull. Thank you, Emily. You can relax. Any okay. questions so far? No. Yeah. Am I going yeah. too fast? No. Oh, me too. So the lateral is at the lower of the knee. Yeah. The EAM. So you center two inches above the EAM. Oh, two. On a perfect patient, it will be at the level of the knees on. But if on your patient it's not, don't freak out. As okay. long as you're two inches above the EAM, you should be good. Okay. So you're trying to get a lateral, but not this. Yes, because if you right. sit like that, we have all that OID between the skull and our IR, right? Okay. Which we don't want. So then we're going to oblique the patient slightly, like 45 ish. Like that? Mm hmm. And then just like. Yep. You drop the shoulder. Uh, drop the shoulder. Not too much where your head is tilted. Okay. You can drop it though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you still getting me painted? And what lines do need to be perpendicular to the IR? IPL. Yeah. IPL. And what line needs to be parallel? Oh, IOML. IOML. All right, good. Now, our last one for our skull is our AP axial talus. So for our AP, patient is going to sit with their back touching the IR. Make sure that the chair is close to the IR. We don't want them falling out. Um, there is no, actually there is an angle. 30 degrees caudal. So for this, there's two options for your angle. If you are using their OML, you're going to use 30 degrees. If you're using their IOML, you're going to use 37. So. Do you prefer one per touch up? I say just remember 30. Yeah. 
So the back of their head is going to touch the IR. Okay. And then the all nose should be perpendicular. So tuck your chin down. Okay, that's as close as they're going to get. And centering is going to be two and a half inches above the glabella. Where is our glabella? Right here. So, two and a half will put you right by the hairline. Usually. Oh, big ass forehead. <laughs> so you can oh, close, sorry. Your, close your eyes. You can bring the CR all the way to right there. A little bit more up. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay, <laughs> collimation should be 10 by 12. And sorry, Jay, we're going to move the buggy up. We make sure we have light above the vertex. You can close it in on the sides. So this is supposed to be 10 by 12 as well? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, this is eight by 12. Open it up a little bit on the sides, that's too tight. Okay. Okay, it's nine by 12. Yeah, that's fine. As long as it's within 10 by 12, it's okay. Okay, left marker on his left side. Anything else? So this is going to look really long. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, where's the towns in here? So it's going to look something like an alien head. And this one was the OML? Yes. Yeah, OML, they're if they're broken. able to tuck their chin down that much. If they're not able to tuck their chin down, you can use their eye OML. Which is the... From the bottom of the eyelid to the... Yeah. So like that? Yes. Now, in the real world, will your patients be as flexible as you? Absolutely not. No. So <laughs> if, try your best to get their OML as perpendicular as you can. If it's not, it's okay. You're still going to get an okay x-ray. And that will do it for our cranium. Hmm. Not too bad, right? IPL is perpendicular. Uh, for this one, you don't. Or, or, I'm sorry, uh, parallel. Parallel, parallel. I mean, you don't need to worry too much about the IPL, but just make sure their head is not tilted mm -hmm. left or right. That one you can close it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> my back hurts. You want to sit? No, I'm good. I sure? have to stand to teach. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move on to our sinuses, which are on the inside so we can really visualize. Cool. Um, so for the sinuses, we also have a PA axial called well, just like we do for the skull. Mm -hmm. But the good thing is, it's very similar to the same thing as the, uh, the, the regular. Mm -hmm. However, there is no angle. So how do the PA axial? We are going to angle the patient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and turn around, Jay. Oh, careful. I'm gonna bump you. It's okay. but not on the tube, on the patient. <coughs> Excuse me. So, <coughs> what we're gonna do is, usually we want the OML perpendicular, right? Mm -hmm. For this axial, we want the OML 15 degrees up. So, oh, not that much. I'm just saying up, like. Yeah, like we're gonna have you raise so your chin up. So, start off um, perpendicular, where it's straight. And from this point, lift your chin up a little bit. Right there. That's 15 she... degrees is very small. Mm. So you don't want them at a 45, just 15. I feel like I'm looking straight ahead though. Yeah, so technically it's just Lift the tip of his nose more? touching. Right there, good. So their mm. for, uh, forehead and nose should be touching. If their forehead's not, it's fine. At least the tip of their nose. And that's a 15? Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So start off from straight when the line is straight and then have them lift their chin up. Not a 45, just a 15. Okay, let me see the pen. Can, can, yeah. Well, he messed up my position. Ah. She's gonna okay, so now it's straight, right? Mm -hmm. Lift your chin up. Right there. Okay, I see what you're talking about. So it's like an inch. An inch and a half, roughly. Yeah. Okay, collimation for all of the sinuses, do you think is 10 by 12? No, no, because we're no longer needing the entire head. Yep. So make sure it's eight by 10. So you're going to be clipping like half the frontal bone right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Centering is going to be exiting the navion, so we can definitely bring it down. Yeah, that's good. Uh, put this marker right there. Good. And it's going to look like you're clipping things, but you're not, because the sinuses are on the inside of mm -hmm. your head, right? So you will be definitely clipping the top of the skull and then on the sides as well. So your image will look something like this. Is this it or is this it? No, that's too much. This one? Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. So it's literally like an inch off of a perpendicular. Mm -hmm. You know, like the other one was straight on. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just go like an inch okay. higher, inch and a half. Roughly. Like on the angle? Like right yeah, okay. that's yeah. How, that's how she did it, the 15 was. Mm -hmm. So it's like an inch, pick your chin up an inch. That's yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Um, so that was your PA axial caldwell for your sinuses. What are we angling? The patient. The patient. The patient. 15 degrees. For sinuses. Yep. For the cranium, cranium is, is the tube. How would you describe the angulation of the patient? Caudal, cephalic, is that? Cephalic. Cephalic. Is it what you Now we have our PA waters for our sinuses. So the full name for waters is parietoacanthial, meaning entering the parietal bone, exiting the acanthion. So where should the centering be? Acanthion. Um, so for this one, our chin is going to be touching the IR. So lift your chin up a little bit more. Which line is going to be perpendicular is our MML, the line from our chin to our ear. Mentomieta line. So make sure that is nice and straight. Perfect. That's good. Um, so that is supposed to form a 37 degree angle from uh, perpendicular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see what else. So then do I bring it down? So the centering for this one is going to be a cantheon. So go ahead and bring it down. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay. Right there. There you're lined up. No. <laughs> um, collimation still eight by ten, but we just want to make sure that we have one inch on the lateral sides. More? A little bit more open. That's good. So then you have space to put your marker. Nine by ten. Okay, that should be. So your image <clears throat> will look like this. So what if they can't go like that? If they're able to raise their chin up? I've only seen this done on like older people and they almost always cannot do it. Like they have to redo. Then the radiologist gets what they get. Okay. And then you put a note in, patient unable to perform position. Okay. Um, because MML is perpendicular. Um, eight by 10. Only the chin is against the IR, not the nose. Collimation, one inch on lateral sides. Um, Which is roughly nine by 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can relax. 
now we have lateral sinuses. Are you okay, Jay? That's what I'm gonna say. Do we need to I don't know if this is Are you sure? I'm, I'm fine. I'm just trying. Okay. Are you okay to do the lateral? Or you want to switch for lateral? Should be fine. No, I, mean, no. I don't like should. I don't, I don't like should, man. We're just concerned because you're going to feel it all day. Like if you start getting neck strain and all that, you're going to feel it all it's, day until you get home. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got his consent. Okay. So the ear is going to be against the IR. Mm -hmm. Turn the light on. Uh, yeah. Watch your eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, is collimation 8 by 10? Mm -hmm. 9. Try, let's start off with eight by 10. And then bring your head forward towards me, good. Uh, we are going to center about an inch posterior to our outer canthus. What's our outer canthus? Right there. We want to be an inch behind. So, an inch, about two inches. So here, put it right there. And then move your head back a little bit, Perfect. So that should put you somewhere between your eye and your EAM. Melanie? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and then you want to come to the side of the patient, make sure their IPL is perpendicular. Tilt to the right. Yes. So their IPL is perpendicular. Um, Collimation, you can adjust it so that you have a little bit of light in front of their nose. Go back a little bit. Good. And that you have some light above their nasion, about three to four inches, which we do. Mm -hmm. And then that we're including a little bit of the ear as well. So would you say like end of the light? At EAM? Like the middle of their ear. Um, we have light in front of their nose, and then we have about four inches of light past their nasion. So that should include all of the sinuses in the frontal bone, maxillary, ethmoid, and sphenoid. Okay? And you can put your left marker right here. And then being that it's already at his shoulder, you wouldn't drop it anymore, right? Because then you would have OID or he'd be tilted because it's too much. Because mm -hmm. it's what, like three inches, two, three inches? Yes. But then he might be cut off. But then you were going to be off center on your thingy. So. Do you want me to move? No, I would oblique the patient. Come out, come out from the position. <laughs> Oh, that's why. Turn this way. He was fully lateral. Yeah. Oblique. And then turn your head. There we go. Oh, so now I can move the... Well, then I got to be careful with the chair. Then. Um, we can... For the laterals, you can have the back of the chair this way. So that it's not hitting the IR. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's try that. Well, you said his neck. Go ahead and turn the chair. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Thank I'm you. Move the IR. Yeah, so for laterals, it's better if you have the back of the chair facing you and that the patient is a, almost facing the bucky but oblique. Because if you have them fully turned, it's going to be very uncomfortable for them. Mm -hmm. and as like well I said, as I've only seen these on older people, so I know it might hurt them. Mm -hmm. So let's refix this. Okay. Put the CR. Um, oh, you're good. Uh, Don't move. Now 
Don't rotate your head. Tilt your head to the, yes. That's good. All right. So this is your lateral sinuses. Okay, relax. Um, last one for the SMV. I would suggest you don't do it because it involves flexing your neck all the way back like this. Tracy's, Tracy's. Is it the back still this way? Um, no, for the SMV, the back of the chair will be against the IR because you want their back to be supported when they tilt back like this. Good. That's a good question. <laughs> Uh, Where are you, you right you now? Follow me. Yeah, you follow, follow her. Yeah, floral. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. It I'll trade you. It you sounds like boo-boo. I, I didn't make it to floral. You didn't make it to floral? <laughs> no, because I follow you in my last one. Like, are you ain't missing nothing? Oh, cool. That's a good one. That's a good Sorry. one to end on now. So SMB, patients going to head, head, tilt their head all the way back. So their vertex is against the IR. Good. CR is going to go three fourths of an inch in front of our EAM. So bring the CR down, just e right there. Yeah. Actually, bring it down a little bit more. Three fourths of an inch is very tiny. We, yes, that's good. And then I'm going to move your body towards me, patient centered. So if you center three fourths of an inch anterior to your EAM, it should put you between both gonions. What are gonions? The angle of your mandible. Mm -hmm. Gonions. Um, gonions, sorry. <laughs> um, IOML is going to be perpendicular, which on you it looks pretty straight. Perpendicular or parallel? Perpendicular no, parallel. to the CR. Oh, mm -hmm. parallel to the IR. Okay. Um, collimation should be eight by 10. So you want to see about half of the nose being clipped. So we can definitely go in more on her. Up and down, sorry, not side to side. So it's gonna stay Eight and then oh, 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 too much. Open. Seven. Yeah, that's good right there. So you want to see about that tip of that nose being clipped. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, patient's vertex touching the IR, centering um, between the gun. How do you say it? Yeah. Gun. <laughs> Nine, I say <laughs> three fourths inches in front of the EAM. Um, collimation should be eight by ten, but can be smaller on depending on your patient's head and then marker mm -hmm. on whichever side. Sorry. Appreciate you. Now. That would have killed me. It's very <laughs> rare <laughs> that you will get a patient that's that flexible. Sometimes your SMB is going to look like this because they're not going to be able to go all the way back. Would there be a way to um, compensate for that? Like when Probably drop throwing it, an angle. Yeah. Like yeah. So angle. you'd be able to, like, let's say in this facility, you could angle the IR and then come in the yeah. supplement? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm. Yes, you're thinking outside the box. <laughs> and uh, see, our skull is done. So this was all of your sinuses. Oh, sinuses, mm -hmm. okay. So what are the four projections for sinuses? We have the lateral axial called well, which Ooh. what's the angle for that? No, well, the patient angle for that. Is it because this thing? Right. Is Probably. Uh, yeah, patient's angled. How much? Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, where do we center? At the level of the. What's it called? Um, is it Good below. That's for the lateral. And then oh. could you that back a little bit? At the nasion. I'm moving this up. Sorry. At the level of the ASEAN. So if we were to do something like this. And then for the lateral, it's inches above the EAM. And then at the level of the ASEAN. Yes. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like doing something like that would. And then lift your chin up just a little bit. 
Yeah, we could try something like that. Okay. But now that doesn't guarantee you'll get a perfect right. image. I'm just saying for the sake of theory. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna bring it. 